toffee is toffee toffee is <laughs> oh my gosh have you tried this when I learned how to make toffee I was like hold the phone because it's one of those things that is so hard to find when you want it. You can't just like pop down to the market for some really amazing homemade toffee. I'm trying to think of where I'd even go if I wanted to buy some right now. The internet? The thing I never saw coming about toffee is that it's a five ingredient, no-bake dessert that's ready in about two hours. An hour of which is just waiting. All you need is butter, pecans, sugar, chocolate chips, and vanilla. And that's the fancy version. Seriously, people, that's it. And if you want to dress it up for Valentine's Day like I've done here or for another holiday, you can throw in some sprinkles because sprinkles on everything. Am I right? A common misconception about both toffee and caramel is that they're difficult to make. They are not. If you can stand by the stove with a whisk, you've got what it takes. A couple of things I will mention, though. One, toffee is very hot. 285 degrees hot. Two, it's the super glue of all baked goods. So if possible, you don't want to get it on yourself or anything else. Be particularly careful around the stove top when you're stirring because it will smoke up pretty good if you get it on the burner. When you're just starting out, don't be afraid to use an oven mitt when you're whisking or pouring just for a little extra protection. Are you ready to make some toffee? Let's do it. First things first, you'll need a casserole dish and a piece of parchment paper. This one's 9x13, but if yours is larger, no sweat. Your toffee may just be a little bit thinner and no one will notice. Trim a piece of parchment paper to fit the base of the dish, leaving just enough around the perimeter so that you can grab a corner to pull out the hardened toffee. Next, you'll take one cup of pecans and distribute them in an even layer on the bottom of the dish. Now let me just mention, some people like to do almonds here or a mix of almonds and pecans. This is your toffee, so go for it. You can do more or less than what I've done here too. Whatever your preference is just fine. Once you've got your nut layer squared away, it's time to make the toffee. You'll need a saucepan, a thermometer, and a whisk here. I'm using a candy thermometer that clips onto the pan, which is super convenient, but if what you have is a meat thermometer, that'll work too. Just be careful as you're pulling it in and out of the pot wiping it on the rim to prevent dripping. We're going to add two and a half sticks of butter into the pot with one and one fourth cup sugar and a half teaspoon vanilla. Go ahead and put it on high heat. It's going to take a second to do anything and it's really hard to stir before the butter starts melting so I usually just give it a minute or two to start softening before I begin whisking. Once you start whisking, you basically don't want to stop until the thermometer hits 285 degrees because you don't want the ingredients to separate. As you whisk, you're going to see the toffee change colors and textures from yellow to a sort of beige to eventually a deep amber. It will be a liquid and then a foam and then start to thicken. All of this is normal. When it finally hits 285 degrees, you'll know it's time because it will look like a thick caramel. Again, be super careful when you pull this thing off the burner. It's exciting when it's finished and it's tempting to just fling your thermometer and your whisk down somewhere and run for the casserole dish with the steaming pot, but I promise it will pay off to make sure you put these things down on something you can toss out later, like a paper towel. Once you're ready, come on over to the dish and pour the toffee over the nut layer using a spatula to scrape out the pot. Smooth the toffee into all of the corners and make sure all of your nuts are covered up. As soon as that's done, and I mean right when it's done, time is of the essence here. Take your chocolate chips and sprinkle them over the toffee. We'll be spreading these out once they've melted a little so you don't have to cover every inch, just concentrate it enough that the chocolate chips are close together and when they're melted, they'll create an even layer. About two to three minutes later, go ahead and use a clean baking spatula to spread the chocolate evenly over the toffee. Generally, I'm pretty particular about things like this being extra smooth, but we're gonna be chopping this into an uneven piece and covering it with sprinkles, and I've actually found that it looks kind of artful if you have some swirls of chocolate. So feel free to give yourself a break here. While the chocolate is still wet, that's when you'll go ahead and toss in your sprinkles if you're going to use them, as little or as many as you'd like. Once that's done, pop it in the fridge for an hour.
Depending on your fridge, you may want to check this before you move on to the chopping step because sometimes my fridge, even after 60 minutes, the chocolate feels sticky to the touch and you really need for it to be super solid before the next step. So if this is happening to you, no big deal. Just stick it back in the fridge for another 15, 20 minutes, bring it out when it's totally hardened, and then we'll move on to the next step. When you're ready, you'll want to use an exposed corner of parchment to pull the whole thing out of the dish, placing it on a cutting board. Using a large knife, chop it into pieces. Some will be larger and some will be smaller and that's totally okay and normal. It may get a little melty again while you're handling it. That's fine, just pop it in an airtight container when you're finished and put it back in the fridge until you're ready to eat it or share it and it'll set up perfectly. And just like that, homemade toffee, anytime we like it. I hope you're enjoying the content you're seeing here. If so, please hit the thumbs up below to support this channel or tune in by subscribing to see more videos like this one. I hope this toffee sweetened your day. Bye, 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 bye.